Georgia, Georgia, a whole way through, a whole way through. What's up, y'all? Marjack79 here. We are on our road trip to Atlanta, Georgia. Stop at a road stop, use the facilities, stretch our legs out here, checking out the stuff. Just a road stop, <laughs> nothing too fancy. So we have the, the Imperial Ballroom. Looks like it's some sort of a conference going on here. The H7 interim. It's pretty cool. Got some food and beverages going on here. I'm just sneak on in here and <laughs> see, what's, see what's going on here. All right, people. So I've been riding around. Uh, back in town. Absolutely, fly goes fly, baby. <laughs> so I've been riding around uh, downtown Atlanta on this bird here, man. It's a little uh, an electric scooter that you can just ride ride around the city. They actually have these in Louisville too, man. Fun as I don't know what. And of course, I'm in my Eagles gear too. That's right, gotta love it. We are loud and proud in downtown Atlanta today, man. We gotta, we gotta do it, man. Fly, Eagles, fly, baby. Fly, Eagles, fly. Oh, yeah. That's pretty dope right there, man. Yeah. 60, 74, current. That's pretty nice. How much is it? $34. I ain't dig. Cool. Big silver piece of art here. Looks cool. All right, peeps. So we know we can't come to Atlanta, Georgia without exploring the Martin Luther King National Historic Park. So let's go ahead and get in here. Let's take a look. All right, people. And what we're looking at here is the actual house that Martin Luther King Jr. grew up in. Of course, it's been like re-established and it's a national icon here as well but as you see here it was born in this house January 15th 1929 I think we're gonna head inside here and do a little bit of exploring but just being able to see this in person is uh, definitely an emotional connection so, all right. so what we have here is some of these shotgun houses that look exactly how they looked when he was growing up as well so they have all been refurbished as well so, and with and upheld by the city uh, along with the country so, very cool very cool man you know and we would have taken the tour inside of the house but we're kind of running low on time here because kickoff is at 8 24 the game obviously fly goes fly so I think we're gonna, just gonna try to see as much of the museum as possible as we can and then keep it moving. So we are coming up on the final resting place of Martin Luther King Jr. here. We got the fountain here, beautiful. Very symbolic. So 
so what we have here is the eternal flame that burns in honor of uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy. The dream lives. The legacy continues. Beautiful. The external flame symbolizes the continued effort to realize Dr. King's ideals for the beloved community, which requires lasting personal commitment that cannot weaken when faced with obstacles. Here are the actual tombs themselves. The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., 1929 to 1968, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, free at last. Karata Scott King, his beloved wife, 1927 to 2006. Now abide faith, hope, and love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. Rest in peace. Thank you for all you gave to this country. Very symbolic man. Another cool factor of the fountain here, we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. Very cool, very cool. Pianos for peace, huh? Building peace through music and education. here. Freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. Hands have changed. Beautiful. And, and here we have looks like a jewelry box set worn by Dr. King. Some cologne he used to wear it looks like. Shoes. Suit and ties. His wallet that he carried in Memphis. He got the MLK corner. Another suit jacket. Dress shirt. Looks like his passport right there. It's pretty cool. Some like more older pictures of it during his childhood. Looks like him as a kid right there. His father and mother. I would assume that's his grandmother in the right hand corner there. apparently received an honorary Grammy in 1970 and this is after he passed away for his, the best spoken world and why I opposed the war Vietnam hmm. I never knew that it's like it was awarded or well, here's his 
Presidential Medal of Freedom presented on July 1977 by President Carter. Of course, this is after his death as well. Beautiful, very nice. Awarded to his wife. Very nice. It's amazing that you know the city of Atlanta uh, gives uh, respect to Coretta Scott King and all of her efforts to bring uh, balance and peace to the country as well. That her. the actual veil worn by Coretta Scott during the funeral procession of Dr. King. Ralph came over to picture of her with it on right here. Martin Luther King Jr. Center for Nonviolence and Social Change. Pretty cool logo there. The King Center. Found in 1968. Over here we have the Ebenezer, the Ebenezer Baptist Church. And this is the actual church where Dr. King preached every Sunday. It is, of course, a historical site now. in here real quick. Ebenezer Baptist Church. It's really cool. Downtown Atlanta as well. We had a Ferris wheel right there. It's a cool looking building there. So this is from the view of inside of the gift shop. Oh. Got a little play area here. Mm -hmm. uh, Doing some, uh, some drills here. Here we go. We're gonna have a little dog. Here we go. Well, we're kicking field goals and everything. All right. Oh, looks pretty fun. It'll be a good place to take the kids one day. So we had to hop back on these uh, birds here real quick, man, to get a take in a really nice night. Yeah, day. birds! Right. Yeah! Hi, right. <laughs> birds! That's right. Ah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> look at that cool uh, Olympic sign right there, man. That's dope. Closer look at the uh, first wheel here. 
listeners. There's, a, there's AJ right there. And his bird. Yes, sir. Got the kitties over there playing. It's cool, man. All right. Now we're at voiceover time. Uh, nothing really too special here. It's just a really cool building I liked. Uh, some more of the uh, Atlanta skyline here once nighttime hits. This is actually near the end of our weekend here. Yeah, man, it was a really beautiful city, and I really enjoyed my time here. So I definitely hope to come back one day. I want to. I really want to bring the family. And then we made our way when we were on our way home to Biscuit Love in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, this is a really a restaurant that my brother actually recommended. He said it was really good. So on our drive home to Louisville, we stopped here and got the East Nasty. It's an egg, chicken, some gravy on a biscuit. And it was absolutely delicious. Probably easily one of the best uh, breakfast chicken sandwiches I've ever had in my life. Everything was tender, juicy. Oh man, dude, it was so delicious. I would definitely recommend that. We also got, um, well, here's just more of the chicken sandwich here. Just, you know, I wanted to show you the white meat here. It's delicious. And here we have these little cream cheese blueberry donuts here. These little donut poppers. These were, you know, absolutely delicious as well to die for. And a little bite size mini cream cheese goodness. Then here we have a little cinnamon cream cheese biscuit cake with pecans on it. Also very good. Yeah, man. This restaurant was delicious from top to bottom. So, all right, man. Appreciate everybody watching. As always. Hope to see everybody on the next one. See you. I'll see you guys later.